Hey everyone, I have not uh, quite opened up my haul yet, but I have a few clips I want to put in right after this one, um, so enjoy those. And I have not quite opened my bags yet, but as you can see, these two over here are Easter. So I found Easter. It, uh, I don't know what it is quite yet because I haven't opened it, but those two are for sure ba or bags of Easter, Easter things. So uh, watch those clips and I'll be right back. So this is why things get thrown out a lot of the time because one or two of them in the case is broken, but then um, some of them are fine and there's some over there as well. So we're definitely going to take some of these. Look at this destruction. It's a beautiful, beautiful bench. And they ripped it all up. I'm contemplating still taking it and trying to fix it, but I don't, I don't know. I might take this part. I'll let you guys know. So a lot of people have asked me to show um, the donation process and I've declined in the past and I'm still really not going to show you but this is um, just an example. I donate to specific families and needs. I don't donate to um, corporations, like for food at least. Um, oftentimes people will come to my house and pick it up but I have a few families that I help out regularly who don't have transportation so I bring it right to their door uh, and this is what I'll do. I'll just set the bags on the porch. And where I am now is actually in the same city that I live. It's about 15 minutes away from my house. And we're in a little place that is known as Shack Town. So it's really, um, you know, people who are in a little bit of a needy situation. The housing is cheap. It's not the nicest area. But um, I'm happy to come and give this food to them. So I just put keep it in the bags and set it right on their porch. And then I'll message her and say, I dropped off the food. So... That's really how uh, how it goes. <laughs> okay, let's get right into the haul. Like I said, it's mostly Easter and some other fun things. So, oh, before I get into it, I actually drove like 30, 45 minutes away today to try to hit some other dumpsters that I don't usually go to. And I literally came back with these two things right here. And then I hit the pharmacy closest, literally less than a mile away from my house. And I find all this. So the moral of the story is stick with what you know because I had no success when I went to that other city. So I guess I will just stick with my, well not mine, but the ones that are local to me. So starting with the haul, I have some sweet and fiery fruit by the foot. There's a few left in there. And then I also have these sweet heat Skittles. I found these before, but I have a whole bunch of them here again. Um, I'm assuming they don't sell well. I have one Mother's Day card. It's a very nice one, though. Thank you for being who you are. Happy Mother's Day. Nice and simple. I will keep that for next year. And uh, next to that, I have this little gnome. He's on a leaf hammock, but he is broken. So I do have to sew him or glue him back on right here, and he'll be just fine. This was actually sitting outside of the dumpster, so I'm thinking maybe an employee either was going to come back and grab it or wanted somebody else to take it. So I did. <laughs> uh, behind that, I have a nice KitchenAid. I think it's KitchenAid. Yes, KitchenAid rolling pin. They did mark it up a little bit, but this uh, material, that will come right off real easy with some cleaner or Lysol or something like that. And that's super heavy duty, really nice rolling pin. Uh, today, I actually went out specifically to find some greens, hopefully. And I was also hoping for peppers, onions, things like that. And I found them. I didn't find anything else in that dumpster except for these two things. Uh, but I'm happy. So I took those. They're not looking the absolute greatest, especially on the outside of the package. It's a little bit sticky. So I'm going to wash those up and they'll be good to go for today. And also from a different, same grocery store, different location, I found another little box of bananas, which you know I love. So I'm going to freeze some of those. And I think I'm going to make some banana bread, which I might show you guys. Right here you saw in the little clip, I was able to save two of them. The other ones I'm sure were, were salvageable, but I just don't have the space for them. So these are both 40 fluid ounces of shampoo, which is awesome. Uh, I at first thought it was lotion, but shampoo is even better uh, because everybody uses shampoo. <laughs> so there's that, super good find. And then right here, a mountain, not a mountain, but two stacks of these fruit infuser tumblers. This one actually has a crack in it, so that one will be going back into the garbage. 
but I also have the inserts still all in the bag right here. I haven't gone through them yet. I'm assuming they were thrown out because there's no straws or maybe they're not selling them anymore, but they're still fine. I think you can even drink it without the straw because it has the lip right there. Maybe there is no straw. Um, but yeah, those are fun find. Fruit infused water bottles. And the last non-Easter thing is this little seven day pill organizer. It is in there. Packaging is just a little ripped up, but that is a-okay. All right, let's get into the Easter things. So I have a bunch of pre-filled Easter eggs and things like these. They are filled with jelly beans and they are, um, one of them was open. So they are pre-wrapped jelly beans inside the eggs. And these are good until April 2021. So I'm going to keep these and um, give those away next year when I do the Easter baskets. I just have some little bunnies and chicks some LOL, and then two Star Wars right here. And I have six of these pre-filled eggs. They are uh, animated eggs with jelly beans. It says it features an augmented reality. I didn't look at the dates on these, but I'm also going to assume, if I can find them, that their shelf life is pretty long. But that's pretty cool. You have to have an app, and then you can connect it to the codes inside of them, I guess. So I got six of those. Those are fun. I have two of these Disney milk chocolate eggs with marshmallow mini on the inside. Super cute. And I actually looked at these dates, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, October 2020. So as long as I can keep those from melting until next year, they will be just as fine as well. Most of the chocolate I'm not going to keep, except for these, but a lot of the hard candy will be fine. I have all these Reese's Pieces Carrots. I say Reese's Pieces, so it still does rhyme, but I have had people tell me that it's Reese's Pieces, but I'm still probably going to say Reese's Pieces. So I have all those. I have two AA batteries. That's always a good find. One pack of the uh, Easter M&Ms. A whole bunch of chocolate I'll show you over there. How many? Two of the king-sized Reese's Pieces eggs. That sounds tasty. And then a little stack of peanut butter eggs right there as well. These are all of the individual filled eggs. Uh, some of them are Paw Patrol, some Shimmer and Shine. I know that's a big one. Yeah, and the dates on these, if you can see, are September 2021. So those are good. I have a stack of little bubble gum eggs. Super cute. I actually don't think there's a date on these. See where it says BB? I'm assuming that means Best Buy, unless I'm wrong. Um, but there's no date on any of them anywhere. I cannot find it. Uh, but I am going to, I'm going to keep them. It's just gum. It should be fine. Maybe it's in here. I haven't looked in. Nope. Uh, they'll, they should be fine since it's a gum until next year. And then I have another little thing of gum. Yeah, let's go off of this one. I did find a date on this one. Well, I swear I did. And I'm pretty sure it's good. Oh, well, I'll figure it out. Uh, you just got to trust me on this one. <laughs> so this is a little egg-shaped bubblegum carton as well. And then below that, I have some Nerds ropes. Right here is my pile of mostly cinnamon sugar churro eggs. That sounds very interesting. I think actually that's all of them. Oh, and then I have a, this is from Valentine's Day, marshmallow caramel heart. Fun fact about me, I hate marshmallows. So, I will not be eating that. <laughs> I have two of these big eggs filled with Skittles. And then I think this is actually from Christmas. This is Ruff Russell Stover's um, peppermint melts. So that's good. I have three of these little bags of just milk chocolate flavored eggs. This little Russell Stover thing. And then these are kind of cute. It's literally one cookie in a tin. I have two of those. Just one little cookie in there. Uh, one double cho double chocolate chip. Oh, they're both double chocolate chip, just different designs on the front. I'll show you this really quick. I have no idea why this was thrown out. It is what it says it is, a blue metal canister. Cute lid. There's nothing inside of it. I can't open it with one hand. But it's just a cute little canister. 
Uh, I don't think I showed you these. I have three or two actually. Football eggs. <sighs> you know, I. That's funny. I actually looked at the date and I realized that it was European. They have the day first and then the month. And then I looked at football egg and it's actually for us Americans soccer. So this must be European. The brand is Thornton's. So those are soccer slash football eggs. And then four of these just big milk chocolate bunnies right here. I have a pile of Reese's build a bunny. So it looks like the packaging is different and you can like build a rabbit. That's kind of cute. And then right here, one pack of the sticker egg hunt. And my favorite find this haul, I have three of these Easter speckled egg wreaths. They were $20. I'm sure they were marked way, way down and people still didn't buy them. So I'm glad I was able to find them and share them with you. So that's it for right now. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, reminding you once again, I will be doing a big giveaway. Maybe I'll include one of these wreaths um, for 10K subscribers. So be sure to share with your friends as well. And I will be back again with another Dumpster Dive related video soon. Thank you.